The prior electrochemical etching station is an easy to operate portable etching system that uses an electric current to create identification, 2D barcodes and logo designs without distorting the workpiece. This video guide provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to get up and running quickly and get the best results from your system. The prior electrochemical etching station comprises of five components, the stencil printer, the Etchmaster USB unit, chemicals, foot switch and electro pad. The Etchmaster USB unit and stencil printer are both connected to your laptop or PC via USB cables. The USB cables are included within your system. To begin, open the traceable IT software and log in with your username and password, which on our laptop is prior. To create a stencil, we need to open Project Designer. The area inside the rectangular box is the printable area, so you need to ensure your designs are kept within this area. We are going to create a simple layout using text objects or data matrix codes. Firstly, we need to input the correct power settings for the etching unit. To do this, click Insert, Settings, Etch Control Unit. This will start to build up a sequence of events that the unit will follow. The screen on the unit will display the chosen power settings. The AC power provided by the unit will provide the oxide which gives us coloration to the etch while the DC power provides the etch into the surface of the material. In this instance, we will set an AC level of 2 with a time of 1 second and a DC level of 4 with a time of 3 seconds. Next, we will add a data matrix to the design area. If you look in the text formatting section at the lower left of the screen, you'll see the default text of the data matrix mark is sample text. To change this, simply highlight sample text and type in your required text. For the purposes of this example, we'll use prior marking technology. To increase the size of the data matrix, change the value of the cell size in the settings section. Here we will change it from the default 0.2 to 0.45 and press enter to increase the size. To import a logo or other custom design, click Insert Vector Drawing in the top toolbar. This will open a separate window which allows you to choose the required PLT vector file from your computer. We will use the prior marking logo which then opens in Project Designer. In common with most graphic design programs, you can rearrange the position and size by dragging with the mouse. You can also select all of the objects in your design by group highlighting and repositioning to your requirements. Once you are satisfied with your design, you can save it for future use by clicking on File, Save, then naming the file which will save it into the Traceable IT database. To start the etching process, return to the Welcome screen of the Traceable IT software and select Mark to Verify. This will open the operator interface for the etching process. Select your project from the drop-down menu. Here we can see the prior logo project that we have just created. You will see an image of what the machine will print in the project preview window to the right of the screen. Clicking start cycle will update the settings on the unit and print your design on the stencil. As you can see, the settings on the Etchmaster USB unit have now updated to the settings you have inputted earlier. The chemicals used in the etching process are prior DIW1, which is distilled water. This is used to neutralise the acid when the etch has been made. And this is the prior PAE5, which is one of our aerospace electrolytes, which provides the coloration of the mark on the material. Visit our website for up-to-date information on the most suitable electrolyte to use on various materials. Use a Petri dish or other suitable container and pour in a small amount of the prior electrolyte chemical. The chemical etch system works by creating a circuit between the graphite block, the electro pad and the stencil. The AC and DC current is passed through the printed part of the stencil. Firstly, absorb some chemical onto the electro pad, then wipe off any excess. It is important to ensure the shiny side of the stencil always faces down. Before placing the stencil on the metal, wipe the surface of the metal with the pad to add some electrolyte. This helps the design on the stencil to show through and assist with accurate placement of the marking. Hold the electro pad face down onto the metal and press the foot switch to begin the marking cycle. 
We recommend rocking the pad backwards and forwards to ensure even distribution of the electrolyte and allow any excess gases to escape. The unit will beep when the cycle is complete and the stencil can then be removed. Finally, neutralise any remaining electrolyte and clean the metal by wiping it with distilled water on a cloth or sponge. For further information on the prior electrochemical etching station, visit our website at www.priormarking.com.